All right guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to create custom accounts in our chart of accounts. This video, we're gonna learn how to split transactions so we can keep track of where our money goes more accurately. For instance, what if we wrote one check to two vendors or subcontractors, two subcontractors, and I wanna know exactly how much each vendor cost me from that one check. So I know how to accurately record my books when I'm done with each one of those two vendors. So what I'm gonna do is let's go into our transactions and banking over here. Now I've got a transaction that says cost of goods sold for $19. Well, I wanna split that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and down here, find match. No, don't worry about that stuff. I'm going to get a text from my mom that's gonna interrupt this video. Got a credit. Okay, so we're gonna go over here on the right hand side of this video, split. So what we're gonna do is from the category cost of goods sold, say I've got both of my contractors. I've got Jordan and Tim. These are custom contractors, custom accounts that we learned in the last video, how to create these. I'll say Jordan only used five of the 19. I'm sure on a bigger scale, this example would be in the thousands of dollars, but for the sake of the tutorial, it's a $19 tab splitting up by two people. Jordan owns $5. We'll just call it, I don't know, parts of, no, we'll just call it one hour of work, whatever. And, um, the other category who I want to split this with is my other contractor, Tim. Tim's going to pick up the rest. He's going to pick up the rest of the 14. So just like that. All right. So the balance is cleared. The difference is at zero. So now we can save and add that. So in this video, we learned how to successfully split up a bill, split up a transaction. So good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.